You guys recently released your brand new single, Trans Am, to country radio, and it's so great hearing it on the radio. Tell us a little bit about the song and how it came to light. Uh, I mean, you know, Trans Am is, is uh, it was a really organic experience that day. We wrote that with uh, two guys, Nathan Chapman and uh, uh, Blair Daly. And, uh, you know, Sean and I wanted to do a whole album uh, kind of the, reflected what the kind of music that we get to. When we get in the car, we just kind of crank it up, kind of what that is. And, and uh, we're, we're huge rock and roll fans. And, and uh, we got with Dan Huff, and he's producing it, you know. So, I mean, when you get with someone like that, it's uh, just a rock legend, you know. It's, it's, it was just kind of fun to, to be able to make kind of more of a country rock record on this one. Yeah. And Trans Am is a very uh, tip of the iceberg on this album as far as, like, tempo and everything. It's, it's, a, it's a fun project. Okay. And it's, a, it's an amazing car, you know. <laughs> So would you say that Trans Am sort of sets the tone for what's ahead? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I mean, we uh, we've uh, we've, had, we've had a lot of success with you know with ballads and, and Kiss Me and If It Didn't Have You and stuff like that. And it was just time for us, I think, to uh, kind of show the, the little heavier side as far as the rocket side. And this is kind of how our live show is when we go out and play. So we just wanted to write a whole collection of songs that just kind of uh, it was kind of like a live show for us. So if we didn't know the songs or not, we'd have a fun time playing them as a band. As you both know, music is consistently evolving and growing. As artists and songwriters, is it getting harder or more challenging to produce new music and still keep it country and finding that balance? Well, uh, I think really for us, anything that we do is going to be country just because that's our roots, that's where we came from. Especially I'm, when she's singing it. <laughs> <laughs> so for us, I don't think it's very hard. I mean, it's always going to come back to that. Yeah. Um, somehow in the lyric or and a little bit of twang that I have in my accent or, or however, but for it us, I don't think so. It's the country's always evolving, you know. I mean, country music now is not country music 10 years ago. Or, right. I, I mean, it, it's changing so rapidly, you know. I mean, some, we wouldn't even be considered country, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you know. So it's it's kind of cool, you know. I mean, our genre has uh, opened its doors to a lot of different flavors, you know, and there's a lot of, a lot of rock influence, pop influence, uh, a ton of hip-hop influence now. I mean, everyone's doing... Uh, kind of that hip hop kind of beat or whatever you know, and it's it's a cool thing, man. The fans love it. They're I think they're getting uh, everyone's being more diversified, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the fans uh, like the different flavors, you know. Absolutely. Now, in addition to the new album and the new single, what else is in store for you guys for the rest of the summer and for the whole year? Uh, you know, this Lots is our touring. this is our life right now, yeah. Yeah, we um we wanted to get out there and play for our fans, so we're we're doing our own shows, playing fairs and festivals and casinos and. It's been amazing. We did that last year, and uh, to have our fans come out and sing every word to every song, you know, that we're singing, really means a lot to us. We're having a blast. Yeah. That's awesome. And speaking of touring and being out on the road, and I know you're showcasing new music. So, what can fans expect with your live shows this year? Uh, I mean, it's very aggressive. You know, it's very, uh, it's very rock driven. Um, uh, we've, we've, we've put the band together. We've always wanted. We have a bunch of great guys, man. That just completely rock we probably don't deserve these kind of ta this kind of talent in our band but uh, they all have a lot of the same influences that we have and it comes out in the show I think it you know, really with, does with wanting to rock out and have a good time and just have a big party <laughs> and you guys have already had so many amazing moments in your career already but what is one thing that is on each of your bu country music bucket lists still oh wow you know I, we've done yeah we have been done so much that we never thought we'd even be able to say that I mean just being here today is a, is a, is a, is a kind of a miracle you know and the lottery uh, the lottery of life to be able to do what you want to do with the person you love uh, especially for us but I I mean I, I don't know I think I just I think I just want to continue to do it and continue to get better continue to push our envelope uh, compete with ourself and uh, and just kind of stay in focus with what's important in life and and uh, being happy is, is uh, at the very top of our list you know and I think just being happy and being able to look back on our career when uh, we're old and gray and wrinkly <laughs> uh, and go, man, we, we did exactly what we wanted to do, and, and we did it our way, and, and um, we had a fun time. And speaking of being out on the road so much, especially this year, what is one thing from home, besides each other, because you already have that, but one thing from home that you have to have with you out on the road? That would be our dogs. Oh, yeah. We, um, we try to take them everywhere with us. We, didn't, we weren't able to bring them today because um, we were flying, and it was a bit of a long flight, and we hate to put them through that. But um, having them on the tour bus makes things pretty normal for us. It makes it feel like home. So definitely, definitely they, Etta and Barkley. Yeah, they were they, they were raised on the bus and, and, and they fly and they, they, they're amazing, <laughs> amazing little creatures, you know. And like we were saying earlier about country music evolving and growing, but in your opinions, what do you think still sets country music apart from any other genre? Um, I think it's how we take care of each other. We were just talking about this last night. Um, 
about how uh, country music supports St. Jude and, and different organizations like that. No other genre in the world does that, you know. They don't, they don't help out and they don't get in there and uh, just try to help. So I think that's one cool thing about yeah, it. And it. the relationships that we have with our fans too, you know, yeah. with CMA and Fest and radio, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we genuinely have, uh, have, have, have formed uh, lasting bonds and friendships with, with people in radio, you know, and no other genre goes out and sees radio and, and uh, has these kind of one-on-one -on -one relationships with them, you know, and, and uh, like Sean said, the community is amazing. And uh, I, I think story songs, you know, I mean, you got fans, if your fans start with you, I mean, I don't know any other genre where you can have relative acts on the radio that are 60 plus years old, you know what I mean? And, that, and that's the... The amazing thing about country that I hope we never lose is, is uh, you know, you have to pay. It's not paying tribute. I mean, these people are still relevant, you know, and uh, they're they're relevant in all, in all sense of the word, you know. So it's really cool uh, from a country standpoint. Those people don't. Those people out there right now, they don't care, you know, and that's a, that's a, a beautiful thing. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to catch up. I'm really excited about your new single and can't wait to uh, hear what the new album's all about. Thank you very much. Yeah. Trans Am. Girl, let's fly, jump inside.